What's up guys? Welcome to SEMA. We flew all the way back from Japan just for this. I well, said, you did. Just for this. No, we have two cars at SEMA this year again, which is absolutely awesome. We have just arrived to the show. I'm super excited to bring you guys another year of SEMA. So to start out our day, we are walking to the Meguiar's booth and we're walking to the Meguiar's booth because we have a car here again. Not just any car, the Tokyo Drift Evo. So while I was away, Tim did a lot of work and was actually able to get the Evo here and ready for SEMA, which is super awesome. You guys can't really see it because we are popping the hood, but we had a little bit of an exhaust leak through the turbo manifold and Tim went ahead and welded that up and got her ready for SEMA. She looks great. So cool to actually be here at the Maguire's booth again. We have Throttle's Fast and Furious car right over there. So it's kind of fitting, right in the center. That's, That's so cool. cool. Check her out. This car probably hasn't been to SEMA since 2006 when it came for I never APR. About that. Yeah, oh. actually, it's second time being at SEMA. First time with APR and second time with me. So that's so damn cool that we brought it back. I'm sure APR is stoked to see it as well. We've got it revived, cleaned up. She looks great. You guys know all about the Tokyo Drift Evo. Let's take a look at Throttle's fresh, fast, and furious build. Absolutely nuts. The boys at Throttle completely killed this. It is actually crazy. Oh my, look at the interior on this. They are just crazy. And the tires on the rear, they did a really good job on this car. We gotta get this car and the Evo together once we're both back in California. Okay, so number one, Tokyo Drift Evo. That's not it though. <laughs> we have two cars here at SEMA, like I said, and one that you guys have been waiting for is the new Z. So I'm most stoked about it because it is at like, when I went to SEMA for the first time and when I went to Tokyo Auto Salon, I told you guys this last year, but being at the Rays booth was always my dream. You guys know how much I love T37s. I use Rays on all of my cars and to see them at Tokyo Auto Salon and SEMA, I never imagined I'd be able to have a car in one of those booths. Well, last year and this year, we have acquired cars Cars at the race booth and this time our brand new 2023 Z is there and we finally get to reveal the wheels that we put on weeks ago. I haven't even seen it in person yet. MA Performance actually buttoned up the car when I left and went to Japan and they delivered it for me. So we're gonna head over to the race booth and go check out the new 2023 Z. I also found my dad's here at SEMA. Hi son! <laughs> we're gonna take a, a family trip to go see the Z. Ryan has never seen the Z. I haven't Z. seen it, nope. Tim and Tiana got to see it because they were helping load it in, but I still have never seen the Z with the new wheels. They lowered it a little bit, got a nice alignment. I'm sure it looks incredible. I also figured I'd take you guys along in this video to show you some of my favorite JDM cars. JDM Tour 2022. <laughs> yeah. Look at this noob in his freaking My 360 his camera. Stick. He's gonna He's gonna see the shots of this and he's gonna be like, damn, I need one of those, dude. <laughs> this thing is so sick. The Millennium Jade, look at this exhaust. Oh, this thing is beautiful. It's like my GTR and BRZ form. That is so it cool. Really good, it looks incredible. I love the color. Wow, shout out to Tej in the Street Hunter kit. Wow, very, very nice. <laughs> Last year we were at the Mac inside. This year we're actually at the Rays side, which is, that's just so cool. And when we go to Tokyo Auto Salon next year, I'll show you guys the comparison between like the SEMA version of the Rays booth versus the Auto Salon version of the Rays booth. I'm so happy. This is such like a cool moment. Oh. Okay, so here's the Mac and booth. Oh, a little bit bigger than last year. Yeah. So this is right where we were last year. Let's go check out the Z. This thing is so good. Varus. Before we even see my car, I want to check this guy out. Oh my god. You guys already know. They're good. Those are good. Turismo race wheels. Oh. This thing is beautiful. Okay. Oh my god, guys. Look at her. Oh. The Z looks so good. So, the wheels that we've been hiding from you guys are the new Rays NE24 wheels. The reason why I couldn't show these is because they were on the GT4 car and these are brand new and 19 inch and they were not for sale in Japan just yet. But uh, starting today, or officially when we're at SEMA, they are now available in 19s and they look so damn good. Look at the meat on this thing. Oh, it fits so perfect. 
Dude, the stance on this is so good. You're gonna have so much fun driving home. Holy crap. And I haven't driven it even since I finished the tune, so the car now makes over 500 horsepower. It's on the 85. It's got the new wheels and tires, new stance. We actually might be able to grip now yeah. with the 285 RE71 RSs in the rear by Bridgestone. Holy crap. Let's check out the back. Oh, we got the Bridgestone sticker in the back. Oh my God. Come here. It didn't turn out bad, did it? Dude, you guys killed it. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. It looks the amazing. The, incredible. The fitment looks so good. Front and rear. Yeah. Did you guys lower it a little bit more? Uh, a little bit. It looks so good. Yeah. I'm so happy. Dude, you I'm guys glad crushed you're still... it. So, since we have the legend Charlie here from, the legend. MA, the, the, from MA Performance, I wanted you to give everybody a little look at what MA Performance did while I was gone in Japan because I had to leave a little bit early. A little bit. So, you got a little bit more power. You yep. did. Yeah. I'll, I'll let you go. I'll, let, I'll talk. Yeah. All right. So, uh, Monday, Tiny, if you guys remember Tiny, shout out to Kyle. I ended up getting in touch with the guys over at AMS over the weekend when you were gone, kind of sorted out some of the tune files that they were sending over uh, had the most updated version of one that they felt really confident about loaded the car up on the dyno Monday morning when he got in uh, probably did like one or two back and forth sends with the tuner one more time and the car ended up making a little bit more power uh, did get a shot of the actual numbers to them yet? I don't think so no I think it was around like 515 or so yeah 515 and about 550 that's forward. crazy and it feels incredible <laughs> uh, the I'm car so drives fun. really I'm nice. sure does it help rip up with the new RE7 yes. now. Yes. Yeah, the tires feel really good on the car. Uh, I remember when we were driving it before, even like with less power, it felt like it could slip them yeah. really easy. Uh, but with this, it feels like grip and go, which is really nice. That's so rad. Dude, I can't get over how good it looks. Yeah, the fitment is really cool. So that, as soon as we were done with the tuning, we went ahead and got the wheels mounted and balanced, got all that stuff ready. Uh, obviously, the tires took a little bit of time to yeah. show up, uh, but we got them and we were able to go ahead and get them mounted and balanced by some of our friends. So went over to their shop, got Ooh. that all knocked out. Uh, I think they did a great job. Yeah. They were very paranoid about potentially scratching these wheels. <laughs> so I was happy that they took very good care of them. Um, and you guys also did the new tips on the exhaust, yeah? Yeah, yeah. so we ended up getting the new tips in. Uh, these are 3D printed actual like stainless steel. So these are welded onto the exhaust. Yeah. They look pretty good. It's, we went for like an OEM plus look with like the subtle branding right up on top. I think it looks cool. It's a different style than yeah. I think a lot of people are used to. And we back. definitely didn't want to be another Me Too brand. Right. We wanted to do something that was Unique. Those tips are big. Bro. They're big tips. <laughs> big tips. Everybody likes a set of big tips. You know what I mean? <laughs> but then, yeah, other than dialing in the fitment a little bit more, dialing in fitment, um, dialing in power, some stickers, dialing in the power, getting the tips on. It was very little things that you missed, but yeah. I think it brought it all together. I did. I mean, this versus what we saw leaving MA Performance, it makes a big difference. Even though it's such small parts, it makes a big difference. And I could not ask for a better set of wheels. Shout out to Ray's. I'm so happy to have awesome partners like MA Performance, Ray's, Steve's over there. Somewhere. We're gonna go say hi to Steve in just a bit, but oh, I, when I showed Steve, he was pumped. Oh, he was super pumped. Even when I showed him some of the photos we yeah. took, he was like, "This is incredible. <laughs> we could use these for the release." <laughs> what do we think, dude? These wheels <laughs> slap hard, and the stance, because I haven't seen one like lower. Yeah. Like this looks freaking awesome. So the whole goal, like we told you guys, with this Z was to have like a track spec streetable car. Yeah, and I think you nailed it. This is achieved perfectly. Now. If we can kind of get our way in with Nissan and get that Nismo wing on there, oh. that would be that would be perfect. I'll get my knee pads out. <laughs> How pumped are you to go home and drive this? I can't wait. <laughs> I'm gonna freaking die. <laughs> like this thing is so. Uh, I've been waiting. This is Tim's so favorite long. car. I love this car. Now with five over 500 horsepower and grippy tires. I love how you have the freaking GT4 wheels. I know exactly. <laughs> Dude, I, I know we couldn't show them for a long time, but I'm super happy that we waited until this moment because it's, it's very worth. special. I mean, look where we are. You know, center look. stage and race. Good things come to those who wait. Yes. Literally the center of Center Hall in my dream booth of SEMA. Like five years ago when I first came to SEMA, I never in a million years would have thought I'd be standing right here with my freaking 2023Z at the Rays booth. I bought, how how long have I had Rays wheels for? Since I knew you, eight yeah. years ago? Every car you put Rays And to be at the center of what they show for the year, I have goosebumps. It's, look at this. 
It's crazy. And who we have to thank for me being at the Rays booth, Steve and Wakana-san. <laughs> thank you so much. This is so cool. I'm glad that we were able to finally do this, Steve. I know we were talking about it weeks ago when I came by the shop and we picked up the wheels. So yes. I'm happy it finally all came together. And Wakana-san, yes, is from Japan. So we, we'll see them at Tokyo Auto Salon. Yes. Maybe do some cool race stuff when we're in Japan, but <laughs> thank you guys. <laughs> Let me, I know there's a lot of haters out there, right? They okay. Will they, right they paint match the fenders, which I think is dope. The biggest difference the is, is this, the, no, the rear. They paint this, match, yeah. Yeah, this is the OEM rear bumper. Yeah, and they paint match, and then they did a Varus diffuser. It looks almost like an aftermarket rear yes. bumper now that they painted it. Yeah, like, and it actually it, looks did you see good. the front? No. The front has a Varus front lit. It looks amazing. Oh, with the wing, too. Look yeah. at the wing stand. All right, guys. <laughs> We're doing that. We're this the this I can see the deal. No what started this was the MA performance new WRX. What's gonna finish it is this. We're doing it. We're doing one, Tim. Yes. It's happening. Yes. You see the silver like just everything flows in this thing. I love this. I fancy the on the stars. Dust <laughs> bars live. Yeah. Oh my god. You see this? Yeah. That's cool as hell. This is, I think this might be like custom. Yeah, that's for Mod Sports Car. Uh, that's that's so cool, man. Man. These wheels are really STI nice. brakes? Holy crap, dude. I love the new Raze wheels, too. Yeah, that's their, their new racing wheel. Yeah. New, yeah. I think we need a set of those. I think my favorite, though, is when you come to the rear with the wing and everything. Dude, thanks a lot. Me driving your new WRX. Oh, yeah. No, just spiraled Congratulations me. on your new WRX. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's time to explore SEMA. So we're going to walk around and see what's my favorite. I think number one, though. I think the first one I'm going to say, the new Varus WRX here at the Rays booth. This thing is just too good to not absolutely love. Okay, so I really wanted to stop by the Vibrant booth. There's an absolutely insane GTR over here. There's a lot of good GTRs here this year, which is really cool. <laughs> Dude. It came out so Dude, sick, thank man. You, thank you. The manifold is insane. Thank you. And the kit this came out amazing. so good, yeah. too, dude. Look at these wheels. Check the rears. Look you guys did a good job. Look at this, guys. Man, did you just fly in? I got in last night. Whoa. Next time you come to Utah, come drive it. Absolutely. This it's got a Hollinger sequential in it. Yeah. I love the valve covers, too. Yeah, so. I was on the plane yesterday. <laughs> oh, Good to see you, Brian. Good to see you too, Probably brother. We were just together. I know. I really like everybody. Camera. I gotta get <laughs> Shut <focus>. up. <laughs> so Brian's also on the mission from Japan. Yeah, just starting off. Uh, I'm down two obligations so far. I've got four more left to go today. Nice. I mean, uh, thing I'm most looking forward to is Dustin Williams signing at McGuire's tomorrow. I'm gonna be there. Uh, definitely guy. trying to get an autograph. Um, who's this? Who's just, this handsome really devil here? It's a development project. <laughs> I know that guy. He's a sweetheart. Pat, my Valvoline dad, come here. Dude, I can't, man. Good to it's see been you. too long, man. I, I really want to go to Japan with you next time. I was just waiting for the invite. You have the open invite. I know. Well, you did message me. You're like, here is your invite. <laughs> I did do that. You're right. And then I was like, I have a child and a job. And I really, I don't know. Maybe, maybe just, give, just give it all up to come for me. Give it 10 years. Maybe I'll come to you. That's why I love SEMA. Because all of our friends, all of our industry partners are all here. It's awesome. <laughs> My gosh, unfortunately, Dai is in here, but this is Dai's freshly Greddy built R33 GTR. It has the RB28, the Greddy RB28 that we are still in works with with Greddy, so don't think I forgot about that, guys. But uh, Dai actually put it in his car. He has serial number 000 for SEMA. Oh, there's Kenji right there. He's gonna pop the hood for us. This thing is actually insane. It has the EVS mirrors, too. So it looks good. Uh, we need the EVS mirrors for all of our cars. <laughs> wow. 
Wow. Kenji. You guys Dang. crush this. It looks so, so good. good. Well, you know, we've been working on this engine program for about, what, three years? I know, yeah. Sorry it's been taking so no, long. No, it's okay. But we have a pneumatic shifter. This is actually pretty insane. So if you look in here, they have the OS Gaiken sequential, but you probably see right here, they have paddles. So you can literally flat foot shift and use paddles when you're above like a certain RPM. Absolutely insane. It drives just like an R35. It's so cool. Holy crap. This is so cool. One of the cleanest GTRs I've ever seen. Look at these paddles. How crazy is it? Sequential and paddles? Dude, this doesn't even look like the same car. It's crazy. Oh yeah, okay. Huh. I don't know how, I feel like it's been five minutes since we got here this morning at eight o'clock and it's already four o'clock. But uh, we are here at the next hall going to see the reveal of the GT4 Nismo Z, which I am super pumped about. This is what Nismo. I really, really wanted to see. I haven't gotten to see it in person, but it has all the little bits that I want what? on my Z. Except for the wheels, so we already have the wheels. But we're heading to the Nissan booth, which should be in here somewhere. And we'll check out the Z. Oh baby, we made it. We got a good spot too. We got Tamir-san right over there. That's so sick. Oh, Hello I'm everybody. That's a little Ooh. loud. Sorry about that. I think somebody to speak loudly and I can... I will call him a, a, a Japanese legend. Uh, yeah. Known, huh? Yeah. Yeah, right. In, uh, known as Mr. GTR, but certainly the, uh, certainly the godfather of Nissan sports cars. We have Hiroshi Tamura here. My man. Yeah. Nissan. So as you can see, the design team really did an amazing job. What do we think? Uh, love year ago, you love it? Um, let's uh, be with a, a full racing license TV and version, buy it for so 20 point four. Deal. Deal. And, uh, it, so it's cool. You guys can see it has the, oh, it's like the Nismo branded NE24s. That, that is, is amazing. Sick. They did this all in six yeah. weeks. Look at the, the NE24s. They're Nismo too. branded. Tell us what was the most challenging part of this game? Race. We need to be upgraded with the Nismo branded oh, yeah. NE24s, yeah. please. Hey, Steve, <laughs> if you're watching this. There's not a lot of space in the sunny truck. Trying to make everything. I mean, full race car. Yeah. Full race car package. Look at the wheels, dude. I know. I wish we could get in there. I'm sure we could find somebody to let me in here. Yeah. Oh, yeah, for sure. This is, I want to see the front arrow. That's what I want to go look at. Look at this. The Aria Surf Wagon, also by Tommy Pike Customs. The Aria is our all new all electric crossover coming out later this year. And this is the first. Four weeks to get it done. The wing is a very, very nice touch. I like how they also left like the little duck bill on it that the Proto Spec has. It is beautiful. Thank you. I like the spec. I like it a lot. This is so sick. The carbon front splitter. We have some canards and even like a front fender garnish. That is so gnarly. And look at the grill. I love how they cut it out and put mesh there directly to the radiator. I'd be very curious to see the difference in the engine base setup. That's what, I want. That's what I'm curious about. But for now, this is very cool to see. So technically, this is not the, the Nismo Z, but they have all the Nismo accessories. Wow. Wow, look at the Nismo intakes. Yep. Nismo. We need this. Yes, we need that structure. I don't know if it'll fit with our AMS in intercoolers. That's sick. That's cool. So we got to see the GT4 unveil, which is really cool. This is like the Nismo version of the Z, which is really nice. Oh, look. I don't know if... Oh, look at the Nismo brakes. 100% we are getting these. Do you see the brakes? Oh, my God. They don't have a wheel on it. There's no wheel on this side. Look. Yeah. Let's see look it. Look at that. Holy... We need this. Yeah, look at all like you got the lines, the brake lines, the arms, everything. You can see everything. Oh down yeah, here. you can see. Oh, there's arms too. Yeah. Man, Nismo's making a comeback with stuff. This is cool. I want this so bad. Oh, I'm geeking out. I need every piece. Do you think that you could buy those and retrofit those brakes to another car? Hundred. Well, whatever a 370Z fits. So did you put 370Z brakes in a GTR? I shouldn't have told you that, huh? <laughs> Steering wheel. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, I love the seats. <gasps> All carbon. It's probably an overlay, which is nice. It was sweet. Oh, look, even the shift knob. Wait. It's got the titanium Nismo shift knob. I think with like a mix of what we've already done to our car, with a mix of the Nismo stuff, we would have a pretty insane car. Yeah. Do what? We should do it. We are going to do it. I didn't even notice this on the wheels. Man, this is so cool to see. That bronze color is absolutely awesome. It's good. I just thought it was cool. 
Yeah. Well, guys, what do we think? I think I like the Nismo Z better than the GT4. Well, I agree. They're two different cars, though. I, think, I agree. Look, I'll tell you, one's so the GT4. Race. If the GT4 didn't have that weird wrap on it, yes, I think it was just I a agree. flat color. I'd be like, oh, that's cool. If it was the it was the white like they showed in like the white. reveal yeah. video, yeah. then that would have been awesome. But I think all the accessories are great. All of the kind of engineering that they put into the GT4 is really cool. I think there's a lot of opportunity for the new Z platform. And I'm excited to actually run some of those parts, hopefully. What do you think about the Nismo Z? We're getting the brakes. Oh, here we go. Getting the brakes. I knew that was coming. <laughs> this is where Dustin starts writing down all the part, the Nismo parts. We need the, we need the brakes and we need the arms. Then I'll be okay. We get those two things. Oh my goodness. I would say today was overall a very successful successful day at SEMA. It went by so fast. It's already five o'clock. I know. I feel like it, it was I like, like 30 minutes. Noon. Anyways, we have a very busy night ahead and I figured I'd take you guys along for that too. When you're editing this, you're an idiot. Oh. Out of gas here. Jesus. Hey, dude, really? Ow. This is nice. I'll bet it is. It's not for me. A full day of talking to people, and now guess what? We have a full night of talking to people. Oh, I got <laughs> I think I got it in the video. No! I could lay down for like 37 years. And Still using the broken camera for photos only because I can't see anything to film. <laughs> Shout out to Masa. Everybody thought I was dissing Masa in the last video. I, I love Masa. I knew it was an accident. I'm just We're going to get another one. Don't worry. Thankfully, I got the warranty on the camera. Now I can lay down in the bed for 30 seconds. Point 0.2 seconds. Go. Oh. We, we have two dinners tonight. We're going to go to turn 14, which we actually love. You guys saw that last year. And then we also have Meguiar's tonight. So busy day, busy night, but it's all awesome. Okay, Everybody. gotta get up and get ready. Family trip. <sighs> First stop tonight, Top Golf. Fun fact, everybody, Ryan is like a pro golfer. Yep, actually and scratch golfer. Yes, last year he actually won the prize for a farthest hit ball when we came to the Turn 14 <laughs> event. So he's going back for his uh, his repeat round two. I, uh, I gotta defend my championship <laughs> belt. Another fun fact, I am extremely unathletic, so I will not be hitting golf balls tonight. <laughs> what kills me? So Dustin played football, so he's but he's unathletic. That's different. I can tackle he's people. Not Just no, no, yeah, no coordination. Yeah, yeah, exactly. You can hit a ball. We'll see you tonight, I guess. Get a good whip. Don't whip it. Get a good whip. Whoa! Is that out of the park? <laughs> oh my, you literally hit the back gate. <laughs> I already beat the long drive, it's over there. All right. I'm just gonna go for it. Oh my god. All right. Ah! Yeah, what? Well, go ahead and hit one and then I'll help you. Hey, yeah. Oh, okay. All right. How'd that feel? See that? How'd that feel? I could probably go golfing right now. I'm gonna get paid, but I'm so bad. Oh, you're gonna get ripped on this. Like that? That's baseball, but good try. All right, okay, not bad. Oh my god. I am just so unathletic. This is so sad. <laughs> Babe. This is my turn. Come on, come on. Uh, let me give you right because we're going to dinner. Okay. This, this, is, this is the real important. Have the cup, some slack. Okay, let's see it. All right. I can already tell she's better than me. Look at her stance. Athletic. Oh my god. <laughs> She's way better than you! Oh, that's awesome! Well, that's fantastic. Oh, we one of us has to be athletic. One of you, yes. Let's see it. Whoa! Laser! Right. Choke on you. Okay, what was your furthest right here? Uh, furthest right here was 251. Oh my god. Yeah. Okay, now, but these don't count. Now you have to go, you I have have to to go, go take yeah, it. I have to see how many chances I get. I'm nervous. You have to go take it all. Risk it all for the biscuit. Oh, here he goes. Oh! 
Yeah, he's done deal. He got it. Oh my god. He beat it the first time, and then he beat it the second time. Last year. Oh, come on. No. No. Oh, no. She broke it. We can't get in. I'm hitting. You did 1993. The three and the four oh. are together, you. <laughs> <laughs> Noob! Thank God. Thank you, Tim. The door's stupid. <laughs> Where's the reigning champ? The reigning champ. Back to back, baby. What are you falling asleep in here? I'm tired. I'm old. Oh, my God. I Bunch of. Took 500 golf swings, dude. Bunch of old men in here. What are you guys watching? Black. Oh my god, you guys are so old. Ah, oh, come here, son. Son, what'd you do today? Tell me what you learned a today. Very at long day at SEMA. Yeah. Just watching, watching Men in Black with my dads. Yep. You're doing a good job of crushing my soul. Guys, we had an awesome night. We just got back from our second dinner with McGuire's. It was amazing. We had a great first date. Seema, guys, you enjoy? Seema, first day? Seema! Ryan actually has to leave because he's going to Japan for his Japan. birthday. Everybody tell Ryan happy birthday. Thank you, guys. Um, anyways, we're going to go ahead and end our video here. We have a long day again tomorrow. I have a meet and greet at McGuire's, so you guys will get to see that. I'm going to go ahead and start editing. If you guys have not already, please hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. I'll see you guys for the next one. Peace out. Mm -hmm.